find the Laplace transform of uh, e power minus a t minus e power minus b t whole divided by t. So, we have to find Laplace transform of, so this is a representation of uh, Laplace transform. Laplace transform of e power minus a t minus e power minus b t whole divided by t whole divided by t okay so we have to find the laplace transform of uh, this function so if you observe uh, numerator and denominator in numerator we have e power minus a t minus e power minus b t and denominator we have only t only t then okay, here denominator contains only t we have uh, different uh, theorems in laplace transforms so one of the theorem is uh, division by t so if you observe this uh, function here denominator contains only t so here we can apply division by t theorem division by t theorem okay so according to division by t theorem formula Laplace transform of f of t by t. Okay. So observe these two. So this is uh, look looks like uh, f of t by t. Here denominator contains only t. Here also denominator contains only t. And numerator is e power minus e t minus e power minus. Suppose give suppose we want to find Laplace transform of f of t by t. What is the formula? Integral of s to infinity. F bar of s ds. F bar of s ds. So Laplace transform of f of t by t is equal to integral s to infinity f bar of s ds. This is the formula for finding this type of uh, Laplace transform of uh, this type of functions. Okay. So here, what is f bar of s? Of course, here s and infinity are limits. Lower limit, upper limit. And what about f bar of s? Remember, here f bar of s is also written as L of f of t. Here f bar of s means L of f of t. So, one type of notation for L of f of t is f bar of s. Okay, this is our result. So, L of f of t is equal to f bar of s. Okay, we need, first of all, we need f bar of s. So, what is, uh, uh, to get f bar of s, we have to find L of f of t. What is f of t? In this question, what is f of t? So, here f of t is e power minus at minus e power minus bt. So, f bar of s, formula into L of Laplace transform of f of t by t. What is the formula? Integral s to infinity f bar of s ds. So, here f bar of s, again, what is f bar of s? f bar of s means notation, L of f of t is equal to f bar of s. Okay, now. So, we need f bar of s. So, we have to find Laplace transform of f of t. Means a numerator function. The numerator is e power minus at minus e power minus b t. Here, f of t is equal to e power minus at minus e power minus b t. e power minus at minus e power minus b t. Okay. So, let us find f bar of s first. So, L of e power minus a t minus e power minus b t ok so i am going to find f bar of s so l of laplace transform of f of t so f of t means uh, this function now according to linearity property or distributive property distribute laplace transform so you will get uh, laplace transform of e power minus a t ok minus put minus and again distribute laplace transform for the second term so, Laplace transform of e power minus bt, this property is known as linearity property, okay now, or in informal way we can say distributive property. So, what is the formula for e power minus Laplace transform of e power minus at, direct formula. So, what is the formula? 1 by s plus a, 1 by s plus a, okay. So, remember for negative power, for negative at we get plus a. For positive AT, we get minus A. Okay, now just remember. So 1 by S plus A minus Laplace transform of E power minus BT. What is the formula? 1 by S plus B because your exponent is negative. 
okay so this can be written as 1 by es plus c minus 1 by es plus b. 1 by s plus c minus 1 by s plus c. this is f bar of s so l of f of t or f bar of s now apply this formula now laplace transform of e power minus a t minus e power minus b t by t is equal to integral of otherwise you can write no laplace transform of curly bracket laplace transform of e power minus a t minus e power minus b t by t by t is equal to integral s to infinity f bar of s is equal to how much 1 by s plus a minus 1 by s plus b okay into ds into ds okay now so here we have to apply integration with respect to s okay now integration with respect to s okay na? here we have to apply integration formulas so here uh, we use only single formula integral of integral of 1 by x dx is equal to log x integral of 1 by x dx is equal to log x since we are doing uh, definite integral so here we are doing definite integration okay now definite means integration with limits so here we are doing integration with limits when we are doing integration with limits, we need not to keep uh, any constant. We ne I mean, we need not to add any constant in the result. Here I am not going to add any constant here, like plus C and all something. Because here we are doing what type of integration? Definite integration. You will get uh, log x from A to B. Integral of 1 by x dx is equal to what? Formula log x. Integration ki formula say. You can have definite integration just now, but no need to add a constant C here. Okay? So, E formula is used just now. So, instead of x, we have the s plus a. Okay? So, instead of dx, we have ds. So, I am going to use this formula, integration formula. Here. So, let us apply definite integral here. So, using as usual, using distributive property or linear property, so first uh, distribute int integral for uh, 1 by s plus a and 1 by s plus b. So you will get uh, integral s to infinity 1 by s plus a ds minus integral s to infinity 1 by s plus b ds. We know that uh, integral 1 by x is equal to some log x. Similarly here uh, integral 1 by s plus a is equal to what? Log of uh, Yes, please. So similarly, integral of one plus one by s plus b, log of yes, please. So do not forget uh, integrals. So in I mean limits. So s to infinity. Apply limits from s to infinity. Okay, now don't forget to apply limits. Now. See, this is like uh, log e, log a minus log b, log a minus log b, log a minus log b formula, log a by b, log a minus log b, log a by b, a value s plus a, b value s plus b, log a by b, with limits s to infinity, okay, next, here, what is the upper limit, here s is called lower limit, see, this is called lower limit, and this is called upper limit, now we have to apply upper limit, minus lower limit so first we have to apply upper limit next lower limit okay so here if you apply upper, upper limit uh, this will be like uh, say uh, here here s and infinity are limits of s we are doing with respect to s so these two are these two limits are s values s limits so s is equal to s so s is equal to infinity Put s is equal to infinity here. If you substitute s is equal to infinity, infinity plus a, infinity, infinity plus b, infinity, infinity by infinity, infinity by infinity. So we don't know, we don't know. Okay, infinity by infinity, unknown value. So that's why see to see uh, to simplify this expression. Here I am going to take uh, s common from numerator and denominator. Why? 
So in numerator and denominator, what is the common term? Yes. Sir. So take out s. So log of take s common from numerator and denominator. If you take uh, s common in numerator, here uh, we have one plus. So s common means so you will get a by s. In denominator, s common one plus. You will get b by s. If you distribute s means you will get same expression. Limits s to infinity. So why should we take s common? That is the question. So if the question is that s is the common thing, why not some other? Why not a? Why not b? If I take s common in second term, see here we get a by s. In denominator we get b by s. We know that finite by infinite. Is always equal to zero. Remember, finite by infinite. Finite by infinite is always equal to zero. Here a is a value. A is some constant. Finite value. Why? So if I uh, replace denominator by infinity, upper limit, then it becomes a by infinity. It becomes b by infinity. So a by infinity is only b by infinity is only. Therefore, this limit is applied just. Limit applied just. Finite is only that. ए बै इनिटी वस्तु इक बी बै इनिटी ए बै इनिटी फैनेट बै इनिटी हम मच जीरो बै इनिटी इज ईक्वल टू जीरो बी बै इनिटी इज आलो ईक्वल टू जीरो सो फैनेट बै इनफिनाइट इज आलवे जीरो ओके दई वी शुड टेक एस काम अभी रीजन एस एम तीये अब मन दी वालू वस्त ला ना अल्लाई लिमिट अपर लिमिट यू वन प्लस ए बै इनिटी इनफिनी By s into one plus b by infinity minus minus upper limit. First apply upper limit minus. Now apply lower limit. Law minus law. Yes into one plus lower limit is what? Yes is equal to yes. You will get same thing. Y by s by yes into one plus b by s. Okay. S S cancel here also S S get cancel. A by infinity zero, B by infinity zero. One plus zero, one. One plus zero, one. You will get log one by one means log one minus log. Here you will get same thing. S plus C A by. If you simplify, you will get same thing. S plus C A by S plus B. Okay na? No? S plus C A by S plus B. If you take LCM, you will get same thing. See S plus C A by S. S plus B by S. So. So this is like uh, log a minus log b. What is the formula for log a minus log b? Log a by b log of one by s plus a by s plus. B. Okay, na? Log a minus log b log a by b log a by b. So reciprocal of s plus uh, a by s plus b, you will get final answer log of reciprocal s plus b by. Yes plus y. This is the final answer. Therefore, integral. I mean, Laplace transform of e power minus a t minus e power minus b t by t is equal to log of s plus b by s plus y.